Hi friends, my name is Jenny Mano and welcome to my channel. This week we are going to learn a little bit about Faber-Castell pit pens and the magic that they hold. I'm going to teach you how to smudge and make them work in a way that I'm hoping you've never done before. So thank you for being here. Let's get started. Hello, hello. Welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Um, yeah, I have played with this and I've been excited uh, to show you guys this. So I've kind of made my list when I took my break of what I was going to do and now we're up to this. And why I'm so excited about it is because there's a lot of bang for your buck when there's just minimal supplies. I have um, clear gesso. I have my tone tan mixed media Strathmore paper that I've cut down 9 by 12 and I have my cute little carry case here but I have these Faber-Castell pit pastel <coughs> sorry Faber-Castell pit artist pens big brush I've had these for a few years now and I love 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 them because of the size of them um but I don't really use them very much because they need to, be, they are ink based. I believe, let me see, they're water fast India ink. They're filled with India ink and water fast. So their colors are gorgeous. Their pigments are bold and delicious. And the marker, I just love this beefy, thick, just, and the tip, the tip is just fantastic. And it doesn't like, it's not super, um, flexible so it doesn't go smoosh which I like and it gets to a fine point as well so they're cool but they you got to figure out how to work with them there's not just like a particular marker you know they, you're, they're really juicy when they go down so you think you'd be able to move them you can with a media underneath them which is why I'm using the gesso we're gonna use our fingers <laughs> to do most of this once we draw things out we're gonna and you'll see I'll show you and then um, the you know we'll have our bold lines too like we do here but they don't work they work on paper but they don't move on paper like just straight if you go straight down on the substrate you have to put some kind of medium a lot of people use um the like um the sealer i'm totally drawing a blank mod podge they use mod podge it needs to have some kind of medium underneath it to help them smear and move better um, i'm using clear gesso to do that because it worked beautifully i was surprised but it did i just thought let's see what happens and i like it because it you can you know me and texture because you know i'm the abstract texture girl um it has a little bit of texture in there and that's from the brush strokes and me blending with my finger so i have done this and I really really enjoyed it like a lot I love to play with my fingers I love to use my fingers in my work just because it's just you know it takes me back to being a kid and who doesn't want that you know for the most part I mean there's some things of course we'd be like no thanks <laughs> but overall I, I just love it I love to get my fingers dirty I love to make a mess because it all cleans up right it all cleans up so um <clears throat> yeah this is what we're gonna do so thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. If you are a regular OG, thank you for coming back. It's because of you that I get to keep doing this. Um, and now is that new segment. It's time to give a little shout out to my uh, new patrons for the year. I have Mariana. I hope I say that right. It's beautifully spelled. Tracy, Nellie perhaps or Neil, I think it's Nelly, Alex, Diane, Beth, and Felicia. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining my Patreon channel. You know, if you join Patreon, you guys, um, you get full real-time tutorials plus extra, depending on what tier you sign up for. So you have exclusive videos for Patreon, as well as the full How To Tuesday real-time video. So, um, yeah, thank you so much. Um, if you like what you're seeing and you're enjoying How To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click that bell. Okay, you guys? Let's get started. I'm going to clean up and then we'll get started. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm going to do two today. I cut my 9 by 12 into four pieces, but um, I've decided I'm going to do two. And I'm just going to do nothing super fancy. Just going to get a little clear gesso down on here. I don't want to saturate it because I don't want to take, you know, first I don't want my paper to work because I didn't tape it down. But also I don't want it to take forever to dry. But I do want a nice light coat. Try to smooth out. You're going to get a little strokes. It's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. See, it's starting to warp a little just because it's a wet medium. <gasps> oh, man. Well, there you go. I got black fingerprints on there. I don't know what I did. 
got it. I think I have to clean my board. <laughs> Just saying. I'm pretty sure it's charcoal. Okay, so we're gonna take a hot gun or heat gun to it really quick. Little trick for heat gun is dry both sides, and then it it attempts to help keep the paper from uh, warping too much. I think I'm gonna take it off this board because there's just too much stuff on it right now. I don't want it on my fingers. Okay, let me move this board. I gotta do a deep cleaning on that, I think. Okay, <clears throat> so you can, but I didn't really go over everything. I was so excited to get started. Um, I, like I said, I'm using my Strathmore Mixed Media Tone Paper, 184 pound. Um, I have my Pit Pastels. Now, I don't have a ton of them. Um, if I try anything new, I usually grab mostly the skin tones and, of course, pink because, you know, and white. I mean, pink. I'm obsessed with pink. And white's always good for highlights if I'm doing portrait work. So I usually try to grab just skin tones if I'm trying any new tool because I do a ton of portrait work. And it just kind of makes sense to me instead of investing in all of the glorious colors, which, you know, isn't easy because I love my supplies and I love you know, looking and turning around and seeing them all just there ready for, for whenever they need to be used. I also grabbed my, um, this is my Uni Signo or Uniball Signo white gel pen, black and white charcoal by Generals, and then just a pencil. You do not need to use a pencil. I'm just gonna, you can go straight in. Like this one, I didn't use a pencil. I just went straight in and started sketching. It's up to you. I'm gonna wipe that brush because I keep smacking it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, what I did, is uh, I'm gonna get you guys started and then we'll get grooving. <clears throat> what I did is I'm gonna grab um, a darker one just to kind of get us started. And this one is 180. And then we just do a little smudgy smudgy guys because we have the gesso down we can so lines aren't permanent okay and what I discovered is that this builds up this beautiful I should have made her eyes higher like sh instant shadow So we're laying down pen and brick. Because I have the medium, I can do this. Because I put the gesso down first, I can play like this. These are all kind of like my pencil marks, the beginning marks, okay? Keep building and building. Mm -hmm. 